Hello guys, I am now going to teach you on how to make a cupcake capital, easy way. So first, we need to prepare our materials and take our measurements. The materials we need are the lining fabric, sock tool, ruler, scissors, your mattograph, and of course the tape measure. Let's start! So I'm going to cut first the strips I'm going to use for the ruffled parts. I will be cutting normal rectangular shapes based on my measurements. There will be 3 layers in this capital. Bottom layer will be 5 inches, middle layer will be 7 inches, and the top layer will be 12 inches. So since the normal width of a fabric is 16 inches, I will be cutting twice of all the strips so that I can have enough length for the ruffles. And this is how it should look like. After cutting all the strips, we are now going to make the lining for it. Since I will be making a gathered style skirt for the lining, I'm just going to cut a rectangular strip with my desired length. In this case, it will be 10 inches. And for the width, I will use the 16 inches width of the fabric because it will just be enough for my waist. But if you want a much fuller look, you can double it. Don't forget to add one half inch allowance on all sides. That is for the seam lines. After you measured it, you can now cut it. Next will be the waistband. Just like the previous patterns, waistband will also be just a long strip of fabric with the same width as my lining fabric, which is 16 inches. The thickness of my waistband will be 2 inches. I will be cutting 2 60 inches with 1 half seam allowance on all sides for the front and back parts of the waistband. Now that all the patterns are cut, we are now ready to sew. We are gonna sew the waistband first. Only the top side will be sewn together. All the other sides will be left open for later purposes. After you have sewn the waistband, Remember all the tool strips we had? We are now gonna stitch it together. Do not stitch all sides closed, but just one side. So that it will become a long strip of the 5 inches, 7 inches, and 12 inches. When you are done connecting all the strips together, it's now gather time. When you don't have a ruffle foot, one way is just to tighten the tension of your sewing machine. And ta-da! Instant gathers. The tighter the tension, the tighter the gathers. In my case, I moved it up to 8 or 9. When you're done gathering all the strips, we are now moving into the lining of the skirt. First, we need to hem the bottom of the skirt. Hemming is easy. Just fold the end twice around one fourth inch each fold. Then sew until it's done. Stay 
When it's done, it will look like this. You can iron it to make it more neater. Now, we are ready to attach all the gathered strips onto the lining of the skirt. When attaching the gathered part, take note of this. Start from the bottom. When sewing, make sure that the right side of the tool will be facing the right side of the lining in an inverted manner, meaning the top of the gathered skirt must point towards the bottom of the lining so that it will have a much puffier finish. After sewing the bottom, the middle, and the top part of the gathered skirt, we are now going to attach the waistband. When sewing the waistband, you can start off at the far left side, right sides facing together. like this. Now, we must close both ends. Sew it together. After that, we proceed on enclosing the waistband for our elastic mat. Since this skirt will have a two-layered elastic band, we must first sew in the middle of the waistband with a one-inch gap for the elastic band to pass through later. The same way will be done for the bottom part of the waistband. And this is how it should look like. Now we are gonna put the elastic band through the gaps that we created. so that we can push and pull through easily. And when both ends meet, sew it together. And now we must close the gaps using a straight stitch. And now adding the second elastic band, we are almost done! the elastic band and closing the gap and now we are done we are done making the cupcake petticoat hope you enjoyed and you learned something from the video thank you guys